Hello, I'm Rebecca with Vera Software, and I'd like to show you how to use the Physics Toolbox Accelerometer. So we start the app, and the accelerometer um, actually has two different modes that it can be in. This one, the first one that shows up is G-force, which is a measure of, um, it's a ratio between the normal force over the gravitational force um, on an object, basically. And um, it's showing us here in three different dimensions. It's showing us um, Z, Y, and X, and um, you can lay it flat on a table to find out which dimension is which. Um, so right now, this is Z right here, and the normal force is equal to the gravitational force, equal but opposite. So um, it's showing a value of 1, and both of the other two dimensions are 0. So that can be really helpful, especially if um, for teaching um, or doing introductory physics, um, such as elevator type problems, or even going on roller coasters and um, expressing uh, how one feels and why one feels the way one does. So that's the first mode. The second mode is to click on this right here, and that will take me to linear acceleration. So right now, um, I'm vibrating a slight amount, of course, and so I'm getting some, um, some data displayed here. But if I shake it a little bit more um, in any dimension, I will get different peaks of data. So this can be helpful again for measuring um, acceleration like on roller coasters or, or in elevators um, working in a, in a different direction basically. And um, you can save that data and save it for later analysis, calculating net force and such. So um, in order to uh, save the data here, we've got a lot of options. Um, we can always pause the data. We can scroll back. We can just take a look at analyze it. Um, we can zoom up on it and then it gives you a little bit more detail. Um, we can continue to play. If we have data that is junk data and we don't like it, we can always reset it. And we also have the option to record data permanently. So I'll show you on the acceleration setting here. I'm going to record just for a few seconds. And then I'll stop my data collection. And then I'll be prompted to record um, a file name. So let's say that I had just jumped. So that was a jump, I could call it jump one, jump two, or the name of a, a ride, maybe if I was on a roller coaster, hit OK. And then I've got some options. I can send through Gmail, email drive, and also you saw a little notification down here. If you don't have internet access, this is saved um, to the root folder on the SD card of your tablet or your cell phone. So if I wanted to save it to my email, for example, very easily, um, I'd use whatever email account I already had set up, and it would get sent to me as a .txt file, which can be read um, and inserted into pretty much any kind of a data analysis program like Excel or even um, Google Spreadsheets for later analysis. So those are some of the things you can do. There's also a few other um, options for Accelerometer. Um, you can determine if you just want to see X, Y, or Z. You can also do this with um, the G-Force sensor. And there's also something else we've got here. It's in the beta stage, but um, sometimes we'll find that tablets or cell phones are just a little bit off, and even when it's not moving, um, it shows that there is an acceleration. So um, we can push zero calibration, give it a few seconds, and it will calibrate it so that everything reads at zero. So it's very easy to use. Um, one last thing that can be helpful, especially when you're shaking, vibrating, or moving this around, is you also have the option to screen lock it. So right now I'm in portrait mode. Um, if I turn it, um, it's not moving because it's been screen locked, but I can also change it to portrait mode so that it doesn't move around as well. So you have some options just for visibility. And um, if I'm interested in zooming up on the data, there's also a zoom, minimize, and also a standard setting. So those are many things that you can do with the um, physics toolbox accelerometer.